I'm Becky Biggins. Welcome to my living room. I'm joined by the lovely and terrifically talented Miss Emily Wright Hi. on my left. <laughs> Hi. She is the founder of Moonlight Saving Time, which is a Bristol-based band. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that, plus their EP, which is out now, a tour that they're going on this June, and a very exciting award. Hello, welcome to tea. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. <laughs> it's my pleasure. So, what? When you started the band, what was your aim? What did you want? Um, I think it started because I picked a group of musicians who I really respect and love playing on, and um, brought them together. So it wasn't so much picking a, a style of music or, you know, picking a bunch of repertoire I really wanted to play. It was kind of, these musicians are really brilliant yeah. and I'd love to play with them and, and then it became what it is now. It's a nice way to start a band. Yeah. So who are these mar marvellous people? The marvellous people <laughs> in Moonlight are, um, well there's Nick Malcolm on trumpet, yeah. um, Dale Hambridge on piano, Mark Whitlam on drums and Will Harris on the double bass. And you are the... And I'm the singer. And how old is Moonlight like Singing Time? I thought you were going to ask me how old I am. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> if I would. No need for the pub. No, 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 don't worry. Uh, right, Moonlight. Yeah. How old are we? Oh, I have to think. We've been, we've been playing together uh, a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. But for um, quite a young band, you've really had lots of attention, very positive attention. So when I introduced you earlier as terrifically talented, yeah. those weren't my words. Are they the Telegraph, is that right? Uh, yeah, that was the Telegraph. article they did before our gig at Brecon Jazz Festival. Yeah. That was a couple of summers ago now. Um, so that was that was a really brilliant gig to have. Um, just, yeah, a great audience and the venue. And yeah. It was really exciting. But the venue, it was the third venue, because you sold out <laughs> twice in one day, is that right? Um, well, yeah, twice. before the gig, yeah. Uh, yeah. Rumour has it that we were, yeah, we got moved to a different stage because tickets seem to be so marvellous. Yeah. And then it happened again. Uh, it did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you ended up with a massive um, It was, yeah, it was a, it was a great venue. Yeah, fantastic. And some great reviews as well from that gig. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, some nice writers. We were just talking about your gig at the Oxford Jazz Festival yeah. before the phone rang. <laughs> and, uh, and it was really well reviewed by Alison Bentley of London Jazz News. Yeah, right? yeah, she came along, uh, I think, having seen the name of the band, uh -huh. uh, thinking it sounded like quite an English sounding oh, right. name, and, uh, and she really enjoyed the gig and wrote oh, right, some lovely things about our playing. And, yeah, it was lovely. It was a terrific review, and then that um, has been followed up by Play on Radio 3 recently, your, what, which, which yeah. track was it from the album, from the EP? Um, it was Duala, Duala, David Gilmore's track which I've written some lyrics to, uh -huh. uh, which they, they picked out to play on the show on Jazz on 3. Fabulous. The kind of thing that I was so excited about when you told me was that you've just been given an award by the Musicians Benevolent Fund for emerging excellence. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Just, yeah, another exciting thing. It's fantastic. So what what does the award involve? What do um, you get? Well, it just, it's going to give us the opportunity to work with some musicians we really admire. Um, uh, perhaps get input on our original material that we're writing mm -hmm. as a band um, and just develop our sound and the direction we're going. And in the meantime, let me just reach my thing. In the meantime, you've got this EP out, self-titled Moonlight like Saving Time EP. We have. Thank you yeah. for this. That's a pleasure. Um, and where can where can people get hold of this? Uh, it's on iTunes. Yeah. And it's available. Uh, the studio we recorded in, you can buy it on the website. Fabulous. So go to iTunes and search for Moonlight like Saving Time. Great. Okay. Brilliant. And you're going on tour. Yeah. I'm going to read out these. Uh, places anyway. So you're going to be in Bristol uh, in Colston Hall. You're going to be in Swindon, Shrewsbury, my hometown. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, Cardiff, Sherbourne, Bristol again because it's great. You're going to be playing at the Pizza Express Jazz Club in London. We are indeed. One of my favourite places to play in the known universe. Love it. Uh, and then the next day, lucky thing, you're going to drive to St Ives. 
Yeah, looking forward to that. That's yeah. going to be a nice drive. <laughs> but we get a bit of time to relax in Cornwall after. Oh, so be nice. lovely. More cream teas for you. Definitely mm -hmm. more cream tea. And then moving on to July, you're going to be at the Marlborough Jazz Festival the day after me yeah. on the 20th. And then the Manchester Jazz Festival on the 29th. Yeah. Lots Marlborough. to look forward to. Yeah, tons to look forward to. You've got an EP out, going on tour, you've just had this award. It's all looking rather good. Yeah, it should be a good summer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you'd like to hear Moonlight Saving Time for yourself, make sure you go and see them on tour. They're marvellous. This is the address where you can find out some more information. This will work. Um, and that's it really. Well, thank you so much for watching and listening. I'm Becky Biggins. This is the terrifically talented Miss Emily Wright. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for having me. Thanks for the scones. Pleasure for the scones. <laughs> Delicious. Bye.